Hi guys, as I said in the very last video I just posted, um, from time to time companies will send me things to evaluate and I've been getting a lot of really nice products that I really can wholeheartedly endorse. I will not lie about a product and say it's great if I don't think it's great. Uh, I won't tell you it's good if I don't think it's good. But uh, as I also alluded to in that earlier video, not everything that I get sent to evaluate is a winner. Um, and this is not a total fail. I wanted to like this thing. This monstrosity right here, the rifle scope. I wanted to like this thing. Um, there are several positives and several negatives on here. Overall, if you don't feel like watching the entire video, I'm going to tell you the negatives outweigh the positives. The glass on the scope is actually very good quality. This is four times magnification, the scope. It's a lighted reticle, uh, what you call a red dot scope. It's actually a, a red crosshair. Um, it has three colors, which is pretty unusual and actually very nice. It, it illuminates red, green, or blue. The blue is very unusual that it does. Uh, the glass is very decent quality. It's very clear. The reticle is super clear. It doesn't flare or starburst or anything like that. It's a very, very clean, well-defined cross. I'll show you the through the lens. Um, the design leaves a lot to be desired. It, it's huge. This thing weighs a pound, and I am not exaggerating. It actually weighs a pound. Now, if you've used any of the little... Uh, small lightweight even the cheap red dots they weigh a couple of ounces and and you don't feel them on there this weighs a pound if your rifle already is in the seven or eight pound range and you stick another pound on there yeah you're gonna feel it um it's pretty solidly well made i've seen a lot of other people review similar scopes to this dirt road uh, 704 tactical a few uh i think it's 704 tactical i believe that's who i saw do this uh, I've actually had pretty decent luck with this thing. The, the little screws that mount onto the rail are actually very solid. I have no play in this. Uh, a lot of people I've seen have problems with mounting on the rail. This is actually very tight, very firm, and it, it's not an issue. Um, there are several issues. The biggest issue to me was the eye relief. The instruction manual, eye relief, if you're not familiar with the term, eye relief is the distance your eyeball needs to be from the back lens to be able to get a full field of view and properly see the scope. Um, the paperwork that came with this, which is pretty scant, it doesn't really have a lot of information, but it did list eye relief in, in the chart that said three inches. Three inches is something like that, about there. I actually find when I try to use this scope, the eye, actual eye relief, because I measured it with a, with a tape, is like 1.2 inches. It's, it's this. So your eyeball has to be this close to get a full field of view. I find I have to collapse the buttstock all the way down to be able to get my eyeball close enough to the lens to actually see the scope and use the scope. I'm not going to, it's a very, I'll demonstrate, it's a very, very awkward position. I have to literally get my eye here, here to fill the scope, and even then it's difficult to do it. It's very, very awkward. Um, <clears throat> it's got a couple of uh, little pieces of rail stuck on here that you could mount something else on there if you wanted to, a light or a laser or who knows what else, but uh, it already weighs a pound. I'm not going to be sticking anything else on this thing. Um, also, as I was mentioning about the eye relief, in order to get my face an inch away from the lens to be able to use this, I have to put it all the way back on the rail so it's interfering coming close to interfering with the charging handle, which is also not good. Um, <clears throat> there's a fiber optic scope sight, excuse me, a fiber optic sight on top of this thing, which to me 
may be an interesting idea. It's kind of bizarre, really weird, but uh, it's pretty useless. The sight radius on this is what? That's like five inches, six inches at the most. Uh, the fiber optic is nowhere near the muzzle end of the gun. It's way back up here, so that leaves room for all kinds of error. Uh, it, it's If I put the scope far enough back on the rail where I can focus on the back lens, I cannot focus on this. This becomes just a blobby blur. There's no way with my eyeball right here this is in focus. I have to totally change the grip on the rifle. I have to tro totally change my eye position, my head position, to be able to see this. And I didn't use a riser. This is flat on the rail. It's fairly low profile. But being on top of this huge scope, it raises this thing so far above the bore axis of the rifle that it's, it's useless. You know, and I'm not going to continue. I'm not going to go on all day with this thing. It, it feels like a quality piece of equipment. The glass is actually very nice. The, the view through the scope is actually very clear once you find where the eye relief is. And the, uh, the reticle actually is really nice. I mean, it's, it's excellent. It's a very clear crosshair, which I'll show you in the video here. Uh, and red, green, and blue, which is nice that you have three color options for different weather conditions or whatever. I believe one factory makes this scope for several different uh, sellers. I don't want to say manufacturer, several, several different sellers. It's kind of a generic uh, scope and you'll see them. A lot of them have even the same box. This one came in a very, very generic plain white box. That's all the branding there is on it right there. It says OTW. And it has a barcode here. It says OTW Rifle Scope 4x32 Top Fiber Optic Sight. Made in China, of course. Uh, and this is like the, the, as generic a version as you can get, plain white box. No brand name on it. Unless OTW is the uh, brand name, I don't know. Cannot recommend this thing, as you may not be surprised to hear. I cannot recommend this. Uh, it's. I really wanted to like this. I really wish it was better. I wish it had three or four inches of eye relief where you could put the scope up in this area where it should be and you could put your eye here and still see the scope but uh, it's a nice try and I appreciate uh, the effort but no this one does not work for me all right guys as always uh, thanks for watching too bad mm -hmm.